Coming up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. This fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury uh -huh. rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Both fighters are 21, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the Ladies octagon where we find three Bruce Buffett. rounds Buff. in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Love. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, the behemoth. And when the action begins, over three in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does that. not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submissions coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Just missed with that right hand. Nice kick. Three minutes to go in the round. And potentially a critical takedown here. Looks like he's going after the leg. We'll see if he can get the submission. with rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. And he's out. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, 
So inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Good jab. And that one certainly found the target. Final seconds of round one. Big ball for punch land. Now we get back to range. to block the strike coming back. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, he's keeping busy here in the clinch. Knee to the butt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good punch. And he gets the takedown. He gets the takedown and falls right into side control, exactly where he wants to be. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, He's still safe, but he's off level. Change to the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. There it is. You gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh! And he's out. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Just misses with the jab. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after. Well, that diving punch landed. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing, show and talk to your toughness.
Applied here as he works out of side control. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Back to the feet now. Oh, huge block. Oh, big elbow. Couple big elbows now. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high. He got a bad. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? And a strong outside leg kick there. TKO. That was a 